To continue. Yeah, I think so. So, you say the first murder occurred at your last book signing? It was the release of Daytime Deadly. Fourth book. I thought it'd be my last. Such a great turnout at the party. Old friends. Associates, fans, even Joe Carroll came out and wanted to talk about a movie deal. Nice to meet you. It's good to meet you too. I'm a writer too. Oh, that's well, awesome. Well, I'm, I'm working on my first book right now, and you've really inspired me. Great. You stay focused, okay? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hi. 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 It's very nice to meet you. You're my inspiration. I can't believe I'm meeting you. It's like, uh, it's like the queen. It's great. I, <laughs> I love your work, and I just like, uh, I, like at night I sleep with your book. You know, like. Kind of like just soft, you know. But I, I love you so much. Are you married? No. no. Oh, great. Well, um, well, maybe I'll see you around then. And um, um, goodbye. Uh -huh. Wow. It sounds like that was quite a party. It was. I remember I was at the bar and I wanted to order a bottle of wine that we were drinking for my collection. And I went to the car and that's when I noticed. Noticed? Down the alley. I knew when I saw the body that I should have called for help immediately, but I couldn't. I was drawn in. I needed to see it for myself. I was in my hotel working on my new novel when I got the phone call. Now normally, the police wouldn't let anyone near a crime scene like this. But the investigators, they wanted to question me. She thought it was coincidental that tickets to my previous book release was near the murder scenes. I knew the killer would strike again. And he did. Later that year, by the riverfront, there was a body that washed ashore. At that point, the police ruled me as a primary suspect. I wasn't allowed to leave town. I felt like such an outcast, trapped in a reality that I created. So how did the killer catch up to you? What do you mean? Well, how did we end up here? How did he locate you? You said he was waiting for you at your hotel. Oh, it was definitely a surprise waiting for me in my room. Care to elaborate? I knew after the third murder where the killer would strike next. I just didn't expect for it to happen so suddenly. Something told me he was getting anxious. He wanted my attention. How could you tell? Oh, just hunch. I immediately remembered his face, those blue eyes. I can remember him smiling at me from afar. Every book signing, he was there. 
I smashed the picture over his head. I thought I killed him. I was able to finally escape and get to safety. When the police arrive on the scene, there's no body. Well, aside from the one that was in the bathroom. Did they continue to suspect you, or did they finally let you off the hook? After they seen the signs of the struggle, the marks on my arms, the police was finally convinced that I was no longer a threat. Are you so sure about that? What do you mean? Well, sure you're not a killer, but you are fueling one. You were his inspiration. And he became mine. What? That doesn't make any sense. I thought after the last incident, I would call it quits. But... After the night in the hotel, after the struggle, we had a moment. We made connection. He understood me and I understood him. And he understood. He had to let me go. Do you think he'll strike again? Something tells me he's still out there. He's close by. And he wants me to know that he's out there. And he's watching and waiting.